Hey, welcome back to another Terraria tutorial. A few of you guys asked for an updated Terraria texture pack video, so I'm here on version 1.4.2.3 doing just that. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions throughout the tutorial, make sure to post them in the comment section below. Without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing we are going to need to do is download the Terraria texture pack template, which can be found either on the Terraria forums page or in the link I provided in the description. In that link is this page, which has all the files we'll be needing for this video. So go ahead and download this basic testing pack zip file. Next, open it up to unzip it. Now you'll see this basic testing pack folder, which I'm going to put on my desktop temporarily. Inside it we have three things, a content folder, an icon.ping, and a pack.json. We'll need to edit the .json file, so right click it and hit open with, and we're going to open it with text edit, which should be already installed on your Mac. The first thing you'll need to change in this file is the name and make sure that it matches whatever the name you gave your texture pack folder. Simply put in who the author is, and lastly write whatever you want in your description of your texture pack. Leave everything else alone and make sure to save your changes. Now we're going to take a look inside the content folder and open images. In here is where all the images for the texture pack are going to go. You'll notice a couple of images already in here as an example. Going back to my link, you'll see this Terraria All Sprites zip file. You by no means need to download this if you don't want to, but it's a great reference for all the correct file locations and texture sizes. The original file and any updated versions can be found on the spridersresource.com. I'm going to download that so I can show you real quick how to use it. Just extract the zip file, and when it's done, open up the folder. In here are all of the images that you could put in your texture pack. All of the file locations in here directly correspond with the ones in our images folder. I'm going to find the inventory texture from the journey mode wings by searching item underscore 4978. I'm just going to copy and paste it into our texture pack now as an example, but we will be replacing it later. Next, I'm going to search wings to find all of the animated wing files that are going to be what you actually see on your character when you're flying around. It's this wings underscore 46, and you'll see that it has three different parts that make its animation. Just copy and paste it into your texture pack as well. Now you may be wondering, how did I know where to put it? And why didn't I say put it for instance in the accessories folder? That's because if you look at the all sprites, you'll notice that it was placed in there in the right location. If I were to poke around in this folder, you'll see that I find all the other folders inside of it which match the ones in our texture pack. That's one of the reasons this is such a valuable resource. Alright, let's get back to our main folder here. Now at this stage, you can edit these files however you want. You just have to make sure that they stay within the supported bounds of the file, or you might get some weird results. However, I'm just going to use the images that I created ahead of time for this video. You can download both of these from the same link in the description. With that done, I'm going to go replace both of the old files with my own, and we should be ready to move on. Real quick, I'm going to reopen the .json and make sure to match my folder name with my texture pack name. Okay, now we're going to navigate to our Terraria resource packs folder. Click on Go, and in the Finder menu, hold down Alt so you can see Library. Open it up, and you're going to be looking for your Terraria folder. In it, you'll see a folder called Resource Packs. Simply drag and drop your texture pack into it. Now we can reopen Terraria and see if it worked. Exiting back to the main menu, we're going to be looking for a workshop, and then use resource pack. And now we can finally see our texture pack in game. We could check our description. Perfect! With that, let's click on our red enable button to enable the pack, and we can load up our world to see if it worked. Okay, with the world loaded, ah, excellent! You can see the animations are working properly, and if we open the menu, yes! Even the texture is implemented correctly. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm still making them for free right now. So if you found it helpful, then please leave a like and consider subscribing. It helps out the channel and it makes it easier for other people to find this video. Thank you and have a good one.